It's a privilege and an honor to present to you our first speaker, Deacon Yeshua David Hawkins. Salam, everyone. Please be seated. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the three steps that y'all have been hearing about on stopping all wars. So uh, I'm going to jump right into it, and I want everyone to slow down a little bit and think about what is your problem. Or uh, maybe better yet, what is our problem? Or what problems do we see in the world today? So I'm going to list off some problems to you. There's no trust in society today. You're uh, constantly watching over your shoulders if you're walking through a city. Uh, you have to keep your doors locked in your house 24-7. You have to keep your car doors locked, your windows rolled up, so people don't steal from you. And no one is safe because of hatred, and there's wars constantly going on in between nations, in communities, and also in our homes, in the streets, between friends. So uh, th those are some problems that we're seeing, and they're, they're not going away. In fact, they're constantly getting worse and worse and worse as society progresses. So uh, how many of you have been victims of these problems? All of us have been victims of these problems. And uh, the, the problems need to change because peace is becoming less and less common in society today. We're not seeing peace in society. In fact, the only place we're seeing peace is here at the House of Yahweh. So uh, we need to change, and we need to admit that we need to change, because our children are being born into this mess that's in society today. And they're inheriting this mess, and they're going to have to deal with it when they grow older. They're going to have to lead in this mess that is uh, going on. And nothing we are doing now is fixing this problem. In fact, everything we're doing, putting Band-Aids on it, is making it worse and worse and worse. Everything this world is doing. So as a result, there was 13,062 murders in the U.S. in 2011 alone. 2.3 million people in prison in the U.S. as of present. And crime is rising. And uh, so we're making more and more laws. That's what the United States and the governments are doing. We're making more and more laws, banning guns, banning all kinds of different things. And we're creating criminals out of people who are just fine, who aren't trying to cause any problem to society. So we're not fixing the problem. We're just putting Band-Aids on it and making it worse and worse and worse. So a foundation has to be laid, a moral foundation. And uh, we have to bring the morals back into society through teaching the Peaceful Solution Character Education Program. Praise God. So this foundation can be laid by teaching moral character, by teaching self-control, by reintroducing morals like do not steal, show respect to your neighbor, don't fight with your neighbor because that doesn't bring peace, and the STOP acronym, of course, STOP. Think about your option, options and then proceed with a moral option, proceed with a positive moral choice. And uh, the same concepts that we use to stop these small conflicts, these uh, fight, these conflicts with your brother and sister, or that are becoming wars because they're escalated and you're not controlling them, these same simple moral concepts that are used to solve these small conflicts can be used to solve these major conflicts that are between nations. And you can do it. And these problem, these concepts can be taught to completion in six months if we put our minds to it. We can put our minds to it and have these problems solved in six months' time. And that's from the author. Praise Yahweh. That, that's great. So we can do it. If we start applying it in our lives, if we study these books, if we study the Peaceful Solutions so we can teach them to others, we can start applying it in our lives and make a change in the lives of others by doing so. So get this program, get the Peaceful Solution involved in you know, the community, into uh, your workplace. Start applying it in your workplace. And people will stand up and see you as an example and they'll ask you, what are you doing? You're such a moral person. You're so respectful. You're this, you're that. And they'll see that and they'll start emulating you. So I want everyone to keep, keep doing this and start now. Start now to apply this in your life and do the best you can at it because you will see a result from it. Yeah.